And the thing I recommend is I recommend 1.3 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So the usual amount is what you hear is one gram of protein per pound. Now, again, this is not sustainable. This is not for everybody. Those are for the people who want to lose it in three weeks. I'm making this video because I get a lot of people like Daniel, who's an actor, or like a lot of my clients are like, hey, Mike, I'm going to work with you for four months, but I have a holiday coming up. I would love to be in the best shape possible. Can we do a quick mini cut and then do it the right way? I'm happy to like, I accept that. I get that scenario exists. So I'm going to show you the best way and I'd rather me give you the info. So now we need to figure out our protein carbs and fats, right? So as I mentioned before, we want to give ourselves one gram of protein, 1.3 grams of protein per pound, right? So basically, I'm 200 pounds multiplied by 1.3 is going to give me 260 grams of protein. Now, what are the benefits? Why this? Protein is very, very filling. So this is one of the first things we're going to do to be able to counteract the aggressive deficit, right? Protein is the most filling out of the three macros and it will help make this more sustainable. The second thing is we want to avoid losing muscle mass during this time. So being more on the higher side can give us a little bit more guarantee and a leeway. And finally, protein also has the highest thermic effect of food, which is the sexy way of saying your body burns the most calories breaking down protein compared to carbs and fats.